Yeah, you're right, and it's not. Uh, the Warsaw Pool here off of Harvard on the city's east side uh, should be packed, but the gates are locked today. A year ago at this time, uh, with a day this hot, this place would have been filled with kids, filled with families, but as you said, the city needs to save money, and now families need to find other ways to stay cool. Can I get a towel? Keeping her children cool under the hot sun is going to be a challenge this week for Quita Brown. Trying to fire hydrant on. <laughs> Water balloon fight. Um, go to the swimming pool. But the pools in Cleveland are closed today and tomorrow. It's cool. Cool to me. So the city's splash parks are shouldering the load, and it's a heavy one. It feels hot, mega hot out here, extremely hot. Dozens of kids pack the park, and if they noticed the heat, nobody was complaining. It's awesome. We're trying to win. I'm trying to get everybody wet, basically. Robin Whitlow brought her family to this splash park in University Circle. I don't care if it's 101 degrees, kids want to be outside. She says last year her kids were at the pool on a day like today. They want to play. That's what you wait for summer for. You cool now? And as the day went on and got hotter, the number of kids more than tripled. When the pools are closed or they're short staffed because there's not enough lifeguards, no, that's not good. So these here were great. And again, just a reminder uh, for people who are used to going to pools on Mondays and Tuesdays, the city in years past would open the pools on Mondays and Tuesdays when the temperatures uh, got higher than 85 degrees. But for the rest of the summer, no matter how hot it gets, Monday and Tuesday, the pools are staying closed. So if you're used to going there to stay cool, it's time to get creative. Reporting live, I'm Dan Haggerty, News Channel 5.